Sideways is a 2004 American comedy uh, road film that was directed by Alexander Payne. And in today's review, I just wanted to go over this film because I feel like it's a very important comedy as people like to recommend it constantly. And people like to talk about this film even after it came out in 2004. It still has that lasting impact of, of the type of comedy. The movie follows uh, two men who are in their 40s, Miles Raymond played by Paul Giamatti, who is a depressed teacher and unsuccessful writer, and his friend Jack Cole, played by Thomas Hayden Church, a past his prime actor who take a week-long road trip to the Santa Barbara uh, County uh, wine country to celebrate Jack's upcoming wedding. And in this we see that, and spoilers, we see them going through wine country and we see Jack's character played by Thomas A. Church. It really isn't very faithful to his fiance and he's kind of sleeping around with this woman and he's having a fun time before he has to get married. Meanwhile, Miles, who's played by Paul Giamatti, is this miserable dude who has to kind of put up with his, his, uh, his friend's behavior and he kind of has to kind of deal with the fact that he's just this depressed unsuccessful middle school teacher who really isn't getting that far in life anymore and all he has left is his sort of enjoyment of wine and his friend and I guess that's about it and this kind of weekend that he has with his friend Jack Cole is pretty much the I guess the last time he's gonna be able to see him for a very long time until they, I guess, until they do the wedding and they go off to do their separate lives. So this is kind of an important weekend for him. And the movie I find is very, it's very unique and interesting in the sense of like, as as an Alexander Payne film, it's very well written and very well edited. And a lot of people say this is Alexander Payne's best film. Now, I'm in disagreement with that because I think Alexander Payne's best uh, films were about Schmidt and Nebraska, especially Nebraska, which came out in, I believe, was 2013, 2014. And that movie was really phenomenal, in my opinion, even though how much of it was kind of a smaller budget film and kind of a simpler film that one was, I think that one, that film is a lot better. And I actually did an, a review of that movie on this channel. But Sideways has always been very popular with people because of not just the fact that Paul Giamatti and Thomas Hayden Church are both great actors, but there's great cinematography and you get to see all these great wine locations within California and you see this road trip unfold in the movie and it's kind of, it's kind of awesome to kind of, I don't know, be part of this uh, journey that they're going through and it being like well shot and well edited as Alexander Payne did in this movie because he did a fantastic job really ca capturing Wine Valley I mean these kind of wine towns in uh, the Santa Barbara County and all these I guess they call them wine country and stuff like that but it's very it's very unique of a film because its setting is very important as a very important aspect of the movie the one thing though that I, I think besides the cinematography editing and the setting of the film being really great, I don't see it as uh, I don't see it as a, a exceptional comedy. I think it, it's a very good comedy, but I think the problem with it is my issues with the main character of Miles. So Paul Giamatti does of course a fantastic job and the thing is though is that with his character being this depressed negative individual, you don't really sympathize him or sympathize too much with him throughout the film. Now I know a lot of people see him as this kind of pathetic, uh, depressed character who is absolutely hilarious, but I didn't really think that he drives much the story forward that well, or he really is such a great protagonist in a way, and I, I'm not sure, maybe it is Paul Giamatti's acting isn't that exceptional, or it's just the character isn't really well written, but I kind of like Thomas Hayden Church's character a lot more. Even though Thomas Hayden Church's character is kind of a sleaze bag in the sense of like he's not really faithful to his fiance, and you can t tell that he's not really taking serious his upcoming wedding and his marriage that he has to do because he's sleeping around with this woman who he's just met in the wine country, and he just wants to have fun. All he wants to do is kind of continue to party, and that's an issue that I have with his relationship to the main character of Paul Giamatti's character because it's 
I, I, I'm, 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 it's hard for me to say that I believe their friendship is real because I'm trying to, I was asking throughout the movie, why does Thomas Hayden Church's character hang out with this guy? Why are they friends in the first place? Because they are so much polar opposites that I don't see them being, uh, uh, getting well on together for a long period of time. I don't see them be, being best friends. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult for me to believe their friendship. And that's the weakest element of that movie besides the fact that the main protagonist of Paul Giamatti's character, Miles, is not believable. But the other aspect is the weak kind of friendship, the weak kind of justification for the friendship. Other than that, the kind of side characters, the the love interests in the film are pretty forgettable. I think um, Alexander Payne's wife, who at the time was in this movie, who was his wife at the time, uh, she does a fine job. So does the love in interest for Miles does a fine job, but they're not really important to the film. The ma the two main important characters is Miles and Jack, and I don't see. I, I wish the movie kind of gave court a kind of an even attention to uh, Jack as much as it did to Miles because it's solely focused on Miles kind of depressed existence as this unsuccessful middle school teacher and I wanted to learn more about Thomas Hayden Church's character. I would actually like to see kind of a reboot or a sequel of this movie where we see the life of Thomas Hayden Church's character where we see his life instead of Paul Giamatti's uh, character's life because I don't know I think that the I don't know I it's it's kind of you have all these great elements that add to this this good film editing cinematography setting everything like that but then you have kind of a weak protagonist and maybe it's because I'm over analyzing it or I'm just not liking Paul Giamatti's uh, performance even though I know Paul Giamatti is a good actor it's just that I don't know. I cannot really get around to liking the Miles character, whereas I more sympathize with Thomas Hayden Church's character. Even though Thomas Hayden Church's character really is kind of a little bit irresponsible, he's not very mature in any way. So I I, I don't know. It, it's a very hard because this movie is constantly being recommended. I mean, it received widespread acclaim when it came out from critics and won Best Adapted Screenplay at the 77th Academy Awards. I mean, it got, it was, it was nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Supporting Actress. And to me, I'm, you know, I'm kind of amazed by that. I'm, I'm sort of scratching my head too, because yes, it's a good film. It is definitely a good film, but I don't think it's spectacular as much as people say it is. I really do think Alexander Payne's film, Nebraska, which is a much smaller movie and really has been forgotten, is, is much more of an important movie in my opinion. I think that's more of an, in, like, has more of an impact on me when I watch that film rather than watching this movie. But I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Sideways. It's fine as it is. If you like a movie about wine, definitely watch this because there's a, a lot of wine in this movie. There's a lot of Pinot Noir. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of naming other kind of wines and stuff. And you get to see a lot of great shots of wine country. And it's it's fantastic if you if you like seeing that type of setting in a movie because it's very unique, especially for a movie that came out in 2004. There's also good music in the movie, uh, it has a decent enough soundtrack, um, and like I stated, it has really good editing, and I think that Alexander Payne really shows that he is a really good director in this film. Again, it's not terrible anyway, it's just that I feel like it, it's getting too much praise where the main character is lacking a lot. Everything else makes up for it, but the main character is really the weakest element, and his relationship to his friend is the weakest element in this film. But I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review that I did of this movie. Um, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you have anything to say, any sort of analysis that you want to say about this movie sideways, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know where I'm wrong. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. And um, have a wonderful day.